Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who finds this video. Uh, and I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers or any visitors that are coming by. I welcome you to my channel as well. It may not be your typical channel, <laughs> but I do the best I can. This is again Friday, June 5th, and it's 8.45 now. I'm trying to catch up to videos I've been trying to get to for a while, and I just see, can't seem to get to them. So this morning, I dedicated this time to catching up. And I have no idea what's waiting for me in the email. <laughs> but this one came to me on June the 2nd at 3.40 p.m. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it says... Has anyone else seen this? Trying to confirm it, if it's true. Things are moving faster, it seems. Yes, they are. And it's titled, A New Global Club of Ten Nations, Precursor to the Beast of Revelation. Remember the monster, the... The beast that rises out of the sea that has ten heads, or seven heads and ten, let's see, seven heads and ten crowns. Okay, I'm thinking that might mean seven, out of seven continents, there's ten parcels of land or places that have the ten crowns at least for like an hour. Okay, I can't quote it. But anyway, so uh, I pulled it up. I clicked on it. Underneath the picture of the book of Revelation, like a really old Bible, it says, A new global club of ten nations, precursor to the beast of Revelation. The United Kingdom has proposed a plan to create a new club of 10 democratic nations which include the G7 plus dot 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 okay so i've got it pulled up here and and i'm going to read part of it and then i'll leave the link and you can read the rest if it's Let's see how long it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not real long. All right. It says at the very top, share this article. And it's by the uh, Prophecy News Watch, PNW. Okay, so I'll leave their link to it. So you can go back and read it again yourself if you want to think about sharing it to others, okay? All right. The United Kingdom, if you'll recall, they left the the uh EU, the Euro European the European Union. The United Kingdom has proposed <coughs> Excuse me, I <coughs> that should do it. The United Kingdom has proposed a plan to create a new club of democratic nations. Have a they'll have a good uh, hard search on their hands trying to find one of them, much less ten of them. They want to create a new club of democratic nations to address the reliance of the world on Chinese technology partners for 5G. Hmm. That sounds very interesting. The COVID-19 crisis has revealed the dangers of relying on outside sources for infrastructure needs, but more importantly, 
to many nations is the security risk associated with giving Chinese tech companies so much control over what many believe will be a new technology boom reaching every aspect of our lives. Boy, howdy, do they got that right. 5G technology will do much more than just give us faster download speeds and low latency. Through its increased capacity and connectivity for billions of devices, especially in the areas of virtual reality, the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence, it has the potential to create a network that can connect virtually everyone and everything together, including machines, objects, and devices. Doesn't that sound wonderful? If only those countries who can create the infrastructure and roll it out nationwide first have the greater potential to lead in many areas that will have global implications for decades to come. Ah, if they only knew. See, so many people have no clue what the Bible says, and even if they've read it and used to be a Christian, they no longer believe it. They think this world is going to be here for decades to come the way it is. Boy, are they sadly mistaken, because we know the truth, right, brothers and sisters? Our Messiah is fixing to come for those who are ready. Then the seals will be broken. I'm taking a pause in the article now. I got my thumb on where I was. And then after the seals, at the sixth seal is the great earthquake. And then we move to chapter 7. It talks about the sealing of the 12 tribes of Israel. And I believe that has to be the Jews who are really Jews being preserved on this planet. Not that that's the only ones who will survive. They will help others to survive. That that makes that's the only thing that makes sense. Although I do believe, as Tim Foster pointed out in his Bible studies, which he is very good at, that there are two groups of one hundred and forty-four thousand. Now, this is not about that, so I'm going to leave it at that. After the sealing of the 144,000, we find that the multitude too large to number appear in heaven. They have not been resurrected from the dead. They have been raptured because it says that they suddenly appear and we find out that the first resurrection, even though there really was one when Jesus rose from the dead, I know people have argued with me about this before, about 500 people rose from the dead and went about the cities witnessing. I know that. But it's not called the first resurrection. Jesus was called the first fruits from the dead. Okay, he, even though Enoch and um, Isaiah, Isaiah, no, um, okay, here we go again. I'm always, yeah. Enoch and, okay, I know y'all are saying it. The other prophet, Ezekiel, Isaiah, got raptured. <laughs> Okay, there were two in the Old Testament. They were raptured, but they were not called the first fruits. Okay? The bride of Christ, those who are found ready 
Okay, it's Luke 21, 36. Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Who, you know, I picture in my mind a, a wedding. The bride, the groom is there already. And the bride comes down the hall, the aisle in the church and stands before her groom. Right? And I think about the bride going up and the Lord told me some others. I think it's those who are trying that are not the bride, but you are living right, you are repenting daily, you are living as holy as possible, you, you're obeying the commands of Jesus, you're doing good deeds to help others, loving others as yourself, as much as you're possibly able. You're just living right. Have to be the, the witnesses. We have to have witnesses for a wedding and guests. But even if the wedding is later and those who are some others are just the witnesses like the bridesmaids and the groomsmen and those who come up later are the guests. Okay, so Revelation 7-9 says a multitude too large to number appears in heaven they will no longer be hungry or tired or thirsty. He will wipe the tears from their eyes. So they've been crying. Yeah, they've been going through it because they weren't ready to go the first time. Why? Because they love the world too much. They might love Jesus, go to church, serve, love, their, love some of their neighbors. People, they might serve on a homeless ministry. They might serve in the nursery at church faithfully and tithe faithfully, even though that's an Old Testament law. And we should give according to as what we are able. Not to be such a burden that we have to end up asking someone else for a few bucks because now we're short money because we gave 10% of our social security disability and that's all we get. You see what I'm saying? All right, moving on. I'm getting off subject now. I'm preaching and I, I didn't mean to get off on all that. All right. So anyway, the decades to come, that's what started it. it it's not going to be that way, but anyhow, they'll find out. Such fears have led the U.S. in recent months to take action against Huawei, China's first global tech brand, and that's spelled H-U-A-W-E-I. China's first global tech brand and a maker of network equipment and smartphones. It is now prevented from doing business in the U.S. as it believes the company is being used by the Chinese leadership to serve their interest instead of the countries it is building it for. Nah, they wouldn't do such a thing. How could we think such a thing? Okay, I'm being sarcastic. The UK has also launched an inquiry into Huawei's involvement in the country's mobile network upgrade in the wake of the U.S. sanctions against the company and has now proposed a far more reaching solution, dash, the D-10. That's a capital D and a number 10 in quotes. 
the D10 Club of Democratic Partners, which would include G7 countries, which is the UK, US, Italy, Germany, France, Japan, and Canada, plus Australia, South Korea, and India would aim to create alternative suppliers of 5G equipment and other technologies to avoid relying on China. Has anyone else heard this? These 10 members represent more than 50% of the world's gross domestic product and would certainly have the economic power to make changes on a global scale. While it is unlikely at this point in time, should these 10 countries create a more permanent and long-lasting alliance beyond responding to the 5G issue, it would represent one of the most powerful economic alliances in the history of our world. See, <clears throat> without going any further, what I'm thinking here, okay, it's talking about the future and they want to make this alliance because obviously they're not looking, they're, they're not looking, at, they don't know what, what I preached about. Jesus is coming, things will change, the seals will happen, then the second rapture, and God takes over and his wrath is poured out on the world. So none of this is going to happen. But the point is, we do know the Bible talks about the beast with the seven heads and the ten crowns. So is this going to be the ten crowns, the ten nations? Supposedly, the United States isn't going to be here. And I think that's after the two raptures. I pray I'm right. This war, that's the second seal. The black horse that represents war. I mean, it's anybody's guess. Is that when the United States and Canada and Mexico just get wiped out and probably South America. I, I just have a strong feeling in my heart that because Jesus is going to require everybody to come to Jerusalem for tabernacles, okay, every year or your area will not get rain for a year. So, everybody's going to be growing their own crops. You're going to want rain. So, if you're living in any of the Americas, North, Central, South America, you got a big journey to go to get to Jerusalem. But if everybody left alive is all centered around Israel partly in the Middle East, partly in Eastern Europe, and maybe Northern Africa, it wouldn't be such a journey, would it? It's just my line of thinking. Okay. So sometime during the seven years, that happens. So this proposed... Let's see. These 10 members represent... Okay, I did read that. This proposed club of nations demonstrates that when there, when there is common cause, countries can come across, can come together in times of difficulty or crisis. The initial formation of the G7 came about in response to economic crisis of the past. 
the current economic crisis caused by COVID-19 could certainly still result in some global alliances as the world looks to unify its response and policies to deal with a crisis that is far from over. There we go again with the COVID-19. I talked about that in, in Stephen Yana's video is from Israeli News Live. So can you see it? Can you see it as prophetic? How it's going to come together, this proposed club of nations? Why should any of this matter to the Christian? Here we go. Beyond the current geopolitical and technological implications, there is a pattern developing here that is worth noting in terms of a biblical context that gives us a foreshadowing of things yet to come. The book of Revelation in the New Testament and the book of Daniel in the Old Testament detail a final alliance of nations that will consist of ten kings or ten nations, some of which many prophecy experts believe will include portions of what used to be the Roman Empire, that would be Italy, right? Portions of what used to be the Roman Empire. So would be France. It is out of this ten kingdom alliance that the Antichrist comes to power. Out of this ten kingdom alliance. Well, they're mentioning the USA. <coughs> So it is out of this alliance that the Antichrist comes to power and begins his reign that is elaborated upon in detail in the book of Revelation. Interestingly enough, Revelation describes how the kings of the East, China, they've got in parentheses, China, question mark, will trouble this global leader, and that he eventually marches upon the Middle East for a final conflict where they will meet, resulting in what is often referred to as Armageddon and climaxes with Christ, Christ's second coming which is at the end of the seven years of great tribulation. Okay, that is not the rapture. It's, it's his second coming. That's at the end. Bef as he sets his foot down to start his thousand year millennial reign. While this current conflict over 5G technology may seem like a far cry from the descriptions in Revelation, it still serves as a reminder how quickly our world can change and how our history can often build upon previous actions similar to how World War II was built on the foundations of World War I. Precedent setting events such as this new D-10 alliance can create patterns for the future and we should be paying attention or at least or at the very least be reminded to understand what our Bible teaches. Does, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense be reminded to understand what our Bible teaches 
does teach us in regard to last things. Okay. Who are the nations involved? What is the timeline? What technologies does the Bible describe being used at this time in history? What is the role of Israel? Does Trump's peace plan fit the prophecy of Daniel 9.27? We should not be caught unaware of the importance of the world developments in relationship to Bible prophecy. However, such a study of these topics requires a commitment of time to explore these important issues. For more detailed chapter by chapter, look at the book of Revelation and what could be on our near horizon, we recommend the, quote, Decoding the Future DVD series, unquote, currently on sale. To learn more, please click here. Okay, so they're offering their series on Decoding the Future. If you would be interested in purchasing that to learn more. All right, so I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over this video and hope it goes up and stays up. I don't know why it wouldn't. I don't believe there was anything controversial in here. I don't think. Anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections and with that I'll say bye for now I'll talk to you later might be tomorrow